Hi, I'm Ellen from the Chili Dog. It's week three of the funicular cowl knit along with my friends from Makers Mercantile. And today I'm pulling into the station and binding off my cowl. But don't fret if you're still climbing the incline and working on the mosaic section. Just relax and enjoy the journey. I'll start with a demonstration of the Icelandic bind off and then talk briefly about blocking your cowl. Let's get started. I like the Icelandic bind off because it will add a little extra dimension to the edge of a project, but it's not as pronounced as an I cord bind off and it's certainly a whole lot quicker. I've already knit across a sort of setup row in my contrasting color, and that's going to really make this bind off pop. As we bind off, we'll be pulling the second stitch on our left needle through the first stitch, forming a new stitch, and dropping this pair off the left needle. So, to begin with your yarn in the back, you're going to insert your right needle purlwise through the first stitch, knitwise through the second stitch, and you just want to catch that front leg and pull it through your first stitch. Then knit the stitch and drop both of the stitches off the left needle. We'll slip the new stitch from right to left. This counts as going purlwise through the stitch. Go knitwise through the next one, pulling that leg through the first stitch. Knit the stitch and drop both loops off the left needle. And let's do it one more time. I'm going to slip purlwise from right to left. That means I'm already going purlwise through the stitch with my right needle. Insert knitwise through the next stitch, pulling the leg forward and through the first. Knit, pull the stitch through, and drop it off. And I will continue in that manner until I have one stitch left on my right hand needle and one stitch left on my left hand needle. I'll bind off my final two stitches in the same manner, slipping the stitch from the right to the left, knit wise through the next stitch, pull it through, and then knit that last stitch, drop them both off the left hand needle, and open up that loop a little bit and remove my needles. Cut or break the yarn so that you have a tail that's long enough to weave in. And then pull that tail through the loop to fasten things off. And you can see that you've created this nice little cord around the edge of the bind off. One thing that you may have noticed along the way is that your mosaic knitting may look quite bumpy and uneven before blocking it. Also, some of the edges fold in or are quite curled. But don't worry, it will all come out in the wash. I'm going to soak my cowl in some tepid water and no rinse wool wash. Squeeze out the excess water, then gently roll the cowl in a towel to squeeze out just a little more water. Finally, I spread the cowl out on my blocking mat and gently form it into shape. I'm not going to aggressively stretch my fabric. However, I do want to ensure that my cast on edge is the same length as the end of my level rows. 
To make the joining neater and easier, I straighten those edges out and pin them into place as the cowl dries. I'll be back next week to show you exactly how to join those edges and finish the cowl as we disembark. I hope you enjoyed the sights during today's funicular cowl lesson. If you have any questions during the knit along or want to share your progress and cheer on our other knitters, head over to the Makers Mercantile Group on Ravelry and look for the funicular cowl knit along discussion thread. Until we stitch again, happy knitting!